Out beyond Mars, before you get to Jupiter, there is a space rock, perhaps a mile wide, racing through space, carrying, unknown to said rock, the name of a space pioneer in Colorado. Asteroid 92579 Dwight, named this year for Ed Dwight Jr., the first African-American astronaut trainee in the early 1960s. Dwight has been just as accomplished in his second career as a sculptor and author in Denver. This latest batch of names that we came up with for asteroids. Mine's the first one on the list. I think recognizes the, the diversity of the astronaut corps. Each one of these is named after a black astronaut or a minority astronaut. My name is Ed Dwight. I was the first African-American astronaut candidate uh, back in the 60s. And uh, I guess I'm known today as being uh, one of the foremost African-American sculptors. I, g I got the letter November the 4th, 1961, asking me if I wanted to be an astronaut. So Kennedy had been in office uh, a year or so. I was the kind of a guinea pig in a way because that half the country, half the Senate, and half the House were dead set against it. And so the president had to do things to protect me. And I was well protected until the president got killed. And I was right in the middle of the hot seat. And so I, that's why I chose to resign. I said, let me just get out of here and stop all this madness uh, because it wasn't going to end well, in my opinion. We do more and we do better when everybody is respected and included. You know, the idea of this is a good thing, and maybe it's a great possibility that somebody at some point uh, it gives us some life, it gives us some legs, and let people know that, that, that there were black scientists and black astronauts, and that uh, we, we, we got our name, we have a little name tag on an asteroid out there. <laughs> the story of Ed Dwight and his astronaut, or his astronaut, his asteroid. He was the astronaut trainee through the lens of our photojournalist, Corky Scholl.